Well, the U.S. is certainly putting pressure on Russia to resolve the Ukraine crisis. The Obama administration accuses Russia of supporting these separatists who are accused of shooting down the Malaysian jetliner. And here to speak more about this in Washington's role is Ambassador Kurt Volker, and he is the former U.S. ambassador to NATO, now the executive director at the McCain Institute for International Leadership. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. You just heard our report where uh, Merkel, Holland, and Cameron are going to have all spoken together and then have called Vladimir Putin individually, trying mm -hmm. to put pressure on him, giving him 48 hours. What else can the international community do as a whole to pressure him to join a formal investigation? And what good will it do? Right. Well, that's the point. I think getting an investigation is a good idea. You want to unearth as many concrete facts as you can. But basically, we already know enough. Uh, we know that Russia has been arming these separatists. We know that these arms have been crossing the border. We know this missile was fired from territory that the separatists control. We know they've gotten training from Russia. None of this would have been happening if Russia hadn't been fomenting this insurgency over the last six months. So the question really is, why aren't we taking tougher action against Russia right now, already? What do we need to wait for? Uh, President Obama on Wednesday increased the sanctions on Russia before this plane was shot down, mm -hmm. because Russia has not been forthcoming in trying to wind down this insurgency. We'd love to see the European allies follow suit. And given the horrendous uh, nature of this latest attack, I think we really need to put maximum pressure, including sanctions, in, including some political isolation, and possibly even greater support for the Ukrainian authorities, including military assistance, to try to help them gain control of this territory. In Washington, D.C., uh, a ranking U.S. Senator, Senator John McCain, said this is going to be hell to pay for Putin. What does that mean? Well, uh, I, I agree with the outrage that Senator McCain is expressing here. It really comes down to the governments, U.S., U.K., France, Germany, those you mentioned, that together can put a lot of pressure on uh, Russia. Uh, the sanctions that uh, were put in place by the United States on Wednesday affect about 4% of Russian trade. If the EU were to do the same thing, that would be half of Russian trade. So we've really got to get the Europeans to increase their pressure as well and to be willing to continue to escalate because we can't let Russia continue to drive the train here, set the pace, call the shots. We have to start unwinding this and preserve Ukraine. On a humanitarian level, um, what power does Putin have with these separatists? I mean, can he secure that area? Well, there's enormous uh, amount of things that he could do. He could cut off the arms. He could cut off training. He could call back the Russian intelligence and special forces personnel that are in there advising them. He could close the border to Ukraine so that nothing else is going to come across. He could use moral suasion to uh, urge them to lay down their arms. He could use the Russian language media that he is pumping into those areas to change the message and say, no, stand down and work with Ukrainian authorities. Not doing any of that so he far. He could ac absolutely help the families here absolutely. who are who are desperately wanting to claim the bodies of their family and loved ones. Uh, he could urge them to open up, and he could even use Russian civilians together with part of international organizations like the UN or the OSCE to drive access to get there. Not do it alone, not hive this off as Russian, but do it as a cooperative part of the international community. All righty, so much. Ambassador Kurt Volker, thank you so much for coming, and we really appreciate your time and your insight. My pleasure. Thank you.